A pre previous video showed how to boot to the internal encrypted drive on a computer, a Linux computer in this case, but it's also possible on most computers to boot from an external drive if Linux or some other operating system is installed on it. Remember I like to put labels on it to say how you get to a boot menu for this particular computer, uh, you press F10 to get to the boot menu. If you, uh, on Dell computers, it may be an F12 key to get to the boot menu. But you can look that up on the internet. Say how to, how to get to the boot menu on such and such computer. And you'll find out for your own computer. Anyway... An external drive, we're going to boot from an external USB drive. Now, here's an example of a hard drive. If it had a Linux operating system on it, we could turn this external drive, or this drive, into a USB drive by plugging it into an adapter for that purpose. Now, you see this adapter... Uh, Let's just plug that computer in, that uh, drive into it. It seats into the connector, and then you uh, have to plug in the power source, and then you have a USB cable that you can plug into the computer you want to boot it to. All right, now, another way, you can also buy USB drives where it's all in one. There's a, the drive is inside a case, and you see the cable coming out and possibly a power cord. Now, this computer drive, you notice it's much, much smaller. It's not a mechanical drive. It's a solid-state drive. So... This is the one that I have a, a Linux operating system installed on. And I've turned it into a USB drive by attaching this adapter to it. So I'm going to plug this USB connector in. And, and now this... Uh, external drive is plugged in. Now we need to get to the boot menu. We need to reboot this machine. Let me get this one out of the way. We're going to reboot this machine. Now I'm going to go ahead and power it down by holding this button down. So the blue light goes off. There we go, it's powered down. Now I'm going to press the button briefly. It'll start up again, and then I'll press F10. So click, here we go, press F10 to enter boot menu, it said, so I pressed it. Here we have our boot menu on the screen. Now, this is the drive I want to boot to, so we have to guess which one it is on this. Now it's certainly not going to be the built-in EFI shell. It's not an Intel drive, so it's not going to be that second one. It's not going to be Ubuntu, because that's the internal drive that we just uh, used, I think. My best guess is it this it's this last one so we'll try that and see what happens then I press enter on the keyboard aha now I know I, I pressed an, an arrow key to just so it wouldn't time out if I just left it alone it would have booted to this version of Nixus so but, but by I could choose an earlier version. Don't worry about that. I just wanted you to see that this is the Nixus version of Linux that I'm going to boot to. 
since I interrupted it, I'll have to hit enter to let it go ahead and boot. So now it's, it's starting to now it's starting to boot. And this drive is also encrypted. So it needs a passphrase. So here, passphrase for blah, 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 blah. And that's where I'm going to pass, type the passphrase. So let me just set the camera down and I'll type, Mary had a little lamb. And then I hit enter. Verifying passphrase. Yes, I typed it. Apparently, I typed the passphrase correctly. So it went ahead and is in the process of booting. Now, of course, I didn't actually use the passphrase. Mary had a little lamb, and I suggest you not use it either. Now we're ready to log in. It's assuming that the user is is me. So here I'm going to would type my password, which again is not the same as the passphrase. When you log in or out, when you log in as a user, you use your user name and password. When you're first booting the machine, you use a passphrase in order to decrypt the drive that holds the operating system. Anyway, I have now booted from an external Linux drive. This happens to be a solid state drive uh, made into a USB drive by attaching an adapter. So these adapters are easily available on Amazon and elsewhere. Okay, that's enough for this video.